Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at dividing a shape into lots and lots of pieces in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you to the subscriber who asked this question. I have a circle here and I'm going to divide it into a whole lot of segments. So I'm just drawing a line here that I'm going to use to divide it up. It is a black line, that's just fine. I'm going to select over both shapes and I'm going to make sure that they're centered because I want to rotate this line around. I'll select on the line, object transform and then rotate. I'm going to rotate it 20 degrees, so I'm going to type in 20, I want my original plus a copy. And I just want more and more of these, so I'm going to hold down the control key, that would be command on the Mac and press the letter D. So I have a lot of different segments here that I want to divide this circle into and I could have used a lot more, I'm just using a small amount just for convenience. I'm selecting over all of these shapes, now I have lines here and I have a filled shape underneath. That's going to limit to some extent the tools that I can use to divide this circle up and the one that I'm going to use is over here in the Pathfinder palette. You can get to that of course by choosing Window and then Pathfinder and it's this one here that we're going to use, it's called Divide. Click on it once, so I've got my circle and my line selected, click Divide and this is what I'm left with. When well, we need to go to the Layers palette and see just what it is that we're left with. So what I have here is Group that has lots and lots of little pieces in it. Now there are also some very, very small pieces in the middle I've found with this and you're going to find that the more shapes that you have or more lines that you have to divide your circle or shape into, the more you're going to have these sort of trailing little bits. If it's really, really small, I've found that you can probably delete them. So I'm just going here to isolate here in the layers palette the lines that are very very small and I'm just going to delete them. I'm also going to keep an eye on my shape because if I make a hole in it then obviously that was something I couldn't delete. So I'm just selecting these and deleting them. It's actually easiest to do this in the layers palette because they're actually going to register as having the same fill as every other shape so you can't actually find them easily any other way but in the layers palette you obviously don't actually have to select them on the shape you're just selecting them in the layers palette. Click on one object here, shift click on the last and then just drag them onto the trash can so that's a nice easy way of solving this problem. I think I've got a couple of other issues here, I think all of these can probably go. That's pretty consistent with what I found is that there's a few angled pieces like this, there are some very very small pieces that are not registering in the thumbnails here as being particularly large so I'm pretty confident that that's going to be a nice way of getting rid of them and we're going to end up with what we want. I'm selecting everything, object, ungroup and now I'm going to select every second shape by clicking on one and then shift click on the other. So I'm just running around here trying to show you that we actually have successfully divided our circle into lots and lots of different shapes and you can of course increase that to any number. The person that asked the question wanted to divide it into a hundred pieces and of course your pieces don't have to be regular lines so let's just go and make a circle and let's go and run a pencil line through this. So here's my pencil tool, I'm just running a line through here and through here and through here. Let's go and select the lines, here they are here this time I am going to select them by clicking on their little buttons here and that's a control click, command click on the Mac because I do want to just make sure the lines are lines and that they're not filled. So let's just go and deal with that. Okay, so now I've got red one point lines. I'm going to select over everything and I'm going back to Pathfinder and I'm going to choose Divide and that's going to give me lots of little pieces here. Let's do Object Ungroup. There's something down here that's a leftover from that circle I think earlier but here are the pieces here of that circle. So this is going to work with all sorts of lines, all sorts of shapes. Thank you again to the subscriber who asked the question and I think it was a really good question. I think the answer is not obvious. 
If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.